This is the IST Health Tip of the Day. I'm your host, Roberto Parker. This podcast, we tackle the tough questions related to exercise, training for athletes, human performance, biochemical, biomechanical dysfunctions, problems that sometimes you have questions about that you don't quite know the answer to. So stay tuned, enjoy, take good notes, and God bless. This is Roberto with IST. What is the proper type of warm-up and why should you warm up before you exercise? I've been training people for over 40 years now. I remember back in the days when I played high school and college sports, our warm-up consisted of just going out and doing a few stretches. That was it. But little did we know, that was not really a very smart thing to do. Fortunately, many people didn't get hurt but were they effectively warmed up before participating in a football game or a basketball game or practice or baseball or whatever your sport might be? Or whether you're a recreational athlete just wanting to go for a light jog in the morning or a walk or do some weightlifting or maybe even do some garden work. Should you do some warming up? The answer is most times yes. Now, It depends on your physical abilities, of course. There are some people who are very, very stiff in the morning. Some people are very, very stiff morning and evening and afternoon. So if you're a very stiff individual, I'd say you probably need to spend a little bit more time warming up, especially if you're going to do something really intense like running or sprinting or some heavy-duty weightlifting. You want to get those tissues warmed up. You want to get your core temperature elevated. That is why... You should do some warm-up before you do any physical activity. Now, let's say you're going to do a, uh, a track workout and you're a sprinter. My advice to you, do a lot of karaoke, skipping. I do some bear crawling. In my gym, I have boxing equipment, punching on bags. Yes, punching on bags because that gets your core temperature elevated. It gets your shoulders warmed up. It gets your back warmed up. Doing some light kicks on bags. Now, everybody doesn't have that ability. I know that. But you can do things like skips and hops and butt kicks. Uh, You can do bear crawls. In a minute, I'm going to show you a video here of a class I had this morning, the type of warm-up that we did. We were kicking on bags. But... In answer to everybody's concern about warming up, you should do some sort of warming up. How much time should you spend at it? I'm going to say at least five minutes. It depends on what you're going to do. If you're going to do a lot of heavy weight lifting, you might need to do a little bit more than just five minutes. Let me give an example of the type of warm up that I normally do with my classes. If we're going to do a lot of upper body, we'll toss some medicine balls around. Partner tosses, slam the ball to the ground. We'll do some bear crawls. We might even do some light boxing on the bags. Speed bag, heavy bag, double end bags, those sort of things. Now, let's say we're going to do a a leg day. We're going to focus on a lot of hurdle walks, walking over hurdles, going under hurdles, some kicks on the bags, some uh, skipping, karaoke, tin soldiers, butt kicks, those types of things. Now, all of those I just mentioned can be done any day of the week before you do anything. If you go to the gym or you're going to do something that's heavily active and you're not warmed up like you should, you can hurt something. You can hurt your shoulder, you can hurt your back, hurt your knees. My advice to you is get thoroughly warmed up before you engage in any activity. And oftentimes, getting back to what I do sometimes, I'll even have people wear ankle weights. And we'll do a lot of swinging exercises with our legs. We'll put on a weight vest. We'll do some lunging. Yes, a weight vest. Now, some might think, well, why do you do that before you warm up? We do it really slowly to get the heart rate going. That's the main thing you want is get the heart rate going and get the tissues of the body around the joints nice and warm. That's the main thing that you want to do. Just pure stretching is not going to do that which is why I'm not always a big fan of certain type of yoga movements. When you go to a yoga studio, and I've done this a few times, if you go in there and just start doing a lot of intensive stretching, you can hurt something. So just be cautious. Let me, let me give you an example here. Um, let's say you just want to do stretching. 
if you get up in the morning, typically out of bed, you're going to be a little stiff because you've been sleeping all night. And so your muscles is analogous to, let's say, resting in a refrigerator all night or being in a freezer. And what happens when your muscles are cold? They're going to be tight. What If you take a rubber band, put it in a fridge, or more so, put it in the freezer overnight, and you wake up the next morning and you do that to it, what's going to happen? The rubber band will probably snap. Whereas if you, if you leave the rubber band in the heat and it's warm, it's going to whoop. It's going to have a lot more elasticity. Your muscles are the same way. You want to get them elastic and pliable and malleable as possible. Okay? So, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions about anything, guys, give me a call sometimes. I work with people in all aspects of health and fitness and sports performance. Menu planning. Sports performance training. Interval circuit training. I do metabolic assessments. Now, a lot of people ask, what is a metabolic assessment? That's where I look at your blood type. I look at your neuromuscular type. I look at your neurotransmitters. I look at a lot of things combined together that make up your metabolism. Okay, because that's important relative to the type of food you need to be eating and the type of training you should be doing. There's some people who respond better to certain types of training. Weightlifting, circuit training, Heavy weight lifting, jumping, sprinting, more cardio, less cardio. Everybody's different. The way their body is built and their biomechanics. And also the season of life that you're in. So give me a call, 816-405-7703. Email is rwpsports at yahoo.com. I'll put my information at the end of the video also. Take care. God bless. This has been another ISD health tip of the day. Bye-bye.